right, this is our Happy New Year laryngitis episode of what sold in my eBay store this week. I had my store on vacation this week because I was out of town, but I still managed to make a few sales. Here I've got a pair of Dance Go Clogs, kind of a tortoiseshell pattern. Um, really pretty. I always sell um, Dance Go, even if they're in crummy condition because they always sell. These are actually going just up the street here in Indianapolis. Uh, they sold for $40. I sold another pair of Danskos, light blue with a pale kind of birch colored um, sole. In like new condition, in the box and everything, sold these for $40. I sold a pair of men's bowling shoes, Endicott Johnson, plain gray bowling shoes. Excuse me, and these sold Oh, I can't get my notes out fast enough. They sold for 20 bucks. Then I sold this Dymo um, label printer. Uh, seems to be in working condition, but it doesn't work with my computer, so I couldn't fully test it. The machinery works inside, and it came with two rolls of stickers. So that's kind of cool. Sold that one for 20 bucks. Since I couldn't actually test it, I discounted it a little bit. Next is this vintage silk scarf by Peck and Peck. It's um, got Zodiac characters on it. It's black with gold. And this one sold for $20. Remember this one, Blast from the Past, a Caboodles makeup caddy from the 80s or the 90s. I'm not quite sure when, but that sold for $25. Next up, we've got this mid-century deck of playing cards, two of them. Um, what's interesting about these, these playing cards are not really that interesting. The brand Ready Slip is not that sought after, um, but the image on the front is, and I'm gonna put some links below to information about the Steric building. It's a skyscraper in Memphis that's been vacant for over 30 years, and I think it's gonna continue to be vacant for another 50. And I can't remember why, but um, it's just an interesting piece of Memphis history. Um, I dated them according to the tax stamp on here between 1940 and 1965. So that's a super cool one. I got that at a flea market for a few dollars and I sold it for $30. Um, then over here, we've got some Jesus art, I guess you could call it. It's a lenticular picture of Jesus at the Last Supper um, in this kind of gilded metal, feels like aluminum frame. It's lit, it has a light bulb up in there so you can shine a light on Jesus. And this one, I thought it was cool when I bought it. I got it off at a 50% off day at Goodwill, only to discover that there are a ton of these on eBay. But I put $25 on it and somebody purchased it. Down here, I've got a pair of Banana Republic cargo shorts, which sold for $25. Another Banana Republic shirt, sold this for $17. It's been hanging around for what? And I've also got um, a Kangol hat, which I haven't located yet. Um, sold that for $16, and a pair of Nike wind pants, which I also sold for $16. So. That wraps up the first week of 2015. Hope you're making some sales yourself. Have a good one.